Hi guys, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastering with another tip of the day. Today we're going to do a fog coat. We actually stuckled this house a year ago. Um, when we did it, we told the folks, gee, any raw wood you have, it's best to seal it now, not wait till after the cementitious finish because if it'll bleed during the winter when it gets saturated with water, then it'll bleed here. We see this with nails, uh, rooftops, parapet roofs when the water accumulates. Anyhow, it's not a big deal. What we're going to show you today is how to fix it. Now, what have they tried already? Well, a fellow, the painter said, gee whiz, I can get it all out. All I got to do is bleach it. And I told him, I don't think that's going to work. But he tried. He gave it his best shot. It didn't work. Uh, another company said, well, gee whiz, we could use muriatic acid. <laughs> I used muriatic acid way in the past 20 years ago when we didn't cover brick and we got stucco on it. And it'll take the stucco off. But it'll also diminish the color terribly so I said no that's not the answer either what is the answer is a fog coat a fog coat will get this out see the staining here that's where the wood before it was primed and painted bled and if you can take a peek right here can you see that staining right here uh, it's it's on a few of these pillars and if you take another look here these pillars or these corbels bled not all of them, but a few of them did where they put the plank and they rubbed all the paint raw because they had the house had to have scalp on the house and I guess where all the plank were, it made it worse. But anyway, what we're going to do is a fog coat. We're going to get this out. It's not such a big deal. The hardest part about a fog coat is covering. It takes forever to cover. I'll show you how we're mixing all stuff. All right, guys. Fog coat is well, the bags upside down. It's fog coat. You get the same color as the color you used. And I only used half a bag, so I've got this much in my bucket. If you use a whole bag, you're supposed to fill that bucket up, fill it with five gallons of water, and slack it. What does slacking mean? You've got to let it sit for about 10 to 15, 20 minutes. And then when it's ready, you, on a whole bag, you pour five gallons in another bucket, so you end up with two full five gallons. But because we don't need much, I've only used half, and I'm here, and I'm going to fill this bucket of water up, or <laughs> I'm going to fill this bucket next because I've slacked it. This is called slacking right there where it looks like putty. Now I'm going to put to the top with water. And it's funny, on the way over here my son says, oh crap, I forgot the drill. I thought, man, when I was fog coating 25 years ago, we never had drills. We'd use a stick. So we're using a stick. We got it to uh, creamy right here. I'm going to put three more gallons in here, fill it to the top. Here's the most important part about fog coating. I'm going to clean this out real well, make sure there's no uh, cementitious stuff in the hose. But more importantly, I'm going to put a brand new tip on here. And these tips right here, if, if you get a grit, one little grit of sand, instead of a nice spray, you'll get a stream and that'll just ruin your day. So I've got three new tips with me. I'm going to put a new tip. I'm going to screen this with a couple screens and we cannot get one grit of sand in this. If we have one grit, that just destroys the whole fogging. So we're going to take care of all that and then we're going to, the sun probably is going to be on us. I'm not certain how well it'll come out, but I mean with the camera, we're going to do our job and fix this um, uh, bleeding of the wood, but I'm not sure what the camera will show. Anyhow, we got about 15, 20 minutes of covering and still I've got to clean this out very thoroughly. I mean, it's going to take me 10 minutes to clean this out, flush it out real well. Uh, slack this and then pour it in here, but you'll see when we're actually fog coating. And again, fog coating is usually for, say, you do a big two-story house and there's a lot of scaffold joints. That'll fog coat out. To change the color, I don't recommend it. For things like this, which is the wood is bleeding, you can do it. It'll work, but it's the best alternative to what I've seen out there. All right, guys, a couple tips. Get enough air in here so it comes out. And depending on which way you put your wand, it'll come this way or or horizontal. Right now I'm going diagonal and if I need it horizontal, I'll just move the wand. What I want to do is put two coats on. I'm going to do this whole wall once. I'm going to come back and hit it again. If it's not out, this imperfection of where it bled, I'll do it a third time. Usually you only need two. Okay, here we go. So it's the same color. Now you just hit everything and come down. You do the whole wall. It's best to do the whole wall. Okay, and I'm going to hit it one more time. Then I'm going to continue down the wall because we still have that same problem in these areas. In fact, we have them on this wall too. So while I'm 
add it. I'll get these. And because this is a porous wall, meaning it's a cementitious, water just absorbs in there. By the time I start back over here, it should be ready. It should be dry. Step back, step back. Okay. All right, guys. Second coat. Uh, here's my stain. It's almost out. So I'm going to hit it one more time. Sometimes you get a wall that looks like it got freckles. Well, that can't be avoided. I think that got it out. That's two times. In about 15 minutes, I'll know if it has worked or not. And I might have to hit it a third time. That's all you should need, maximum, is three times. All right, guys, we're complete. I want to point out around all of these little Corbels, we got all the details out. This little area here is still drying because we gave it that third coat. Anyhow, we got all of it out of the pillars, the columns, and whatnot around around the sides. We used about two boxes of uh, plastic, about five rolls of tape. That's half the battle. If you cover everything, you're better off in the long run because the spray, it misses about this far, and then the further you go, it goes 20 feet in every direction. So it took us quite a long time just to pick all that stuff up. It took us five hours to do this. If you guys are not familiar with it, you will be there two or three days. So I would advise you hire a professional if you're gonna fog coat a wall if you don't know how. Anyhow, this is Kirk and Jason Giordano saying so long and we'll see you on the next one.